Hello, um, I'm going to draw a picture and this is a picture of uh, a vessel. I don't know which one. I don't know what. I, I could probably take a decent look at the original screenshot I was sent. But uh, it's a ship. I want to say crate, but I bet it's not. It could be a conda. Anyway, something. Something is approaching a white dwarf. Whatever that something is, it's surely a very foolish ship. My faction was next door to a white dwarf and I would always forever be jumping in and forgetting that it was next to a lord. Uh, lord Seven it was. And I, I, I remember when they stopped looking like little tiny dots of white and had these amazing plumes. They're just just beautiful and in a way they're kind of more crystalline and awe-inspiring than the neutron stars. I remember learning about it as a kid. It's just, it was one of those ones that really grabbed me as an idea. I really liked the idea that this star was so so nearly able to become something more but then it just collapsed and yeah it's uh, tiny 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 but heavy and uh, it's not very bright and it's not very warm and yeah we've got one at Sirius there's one at Sirius um the smaller Sirius star is I like with the scooping from the white dwarves and the neutron stars that you can um, sort of sit in the jet cone hoovering up the supercharged hydrogen or whatever you're doing and uh, yeah, with the uh, the white dwarfs, sometimes that that safe zone, which has just got the uh, the scoopable trails, because of the weakness of the plumes from the white dwarf, this so small that gap, you've really got to just hover right on the brink. It's a bit nerve wracking, and once you're in that white dwarf, oh no, it's not pleasant trying to get out again. The amount of ships. Well, I I, I every time I play a game, I. Pretty much die. I'm so bad for the rebuy, but I have died to a white dwarf a few times. That's okay though. It's, well, I don't mind that. It's it's a uh, always takes a nice picture. <laughs> I like the um, the color that you get and that graphic effect of the lens flare, so the horizontal streak that you get that uh, sort of suggests that you know that your glasses are a bit smeary. <laughs> I don't know. That always looks good. Anyway, I'm I'm sat here um Gigascorbius and uh, so I ask them and uh, and they all have funny things to say about white dwarfs and white dwarfs and T10s particularly is quite funny and I, I posted my picture of the white dwarf on Twitter and uh, and I got lots of terrified screaming cats sent back to me as pictures that sort of thing so I think the general opinion is that they are dreadful awful horrid things and it seems a bit unfair there was a suggestion in uh, Scorbius's channel that. Um, it should be the other way around that the, the the neutron star was the dangerous one and the white dwarf was the, the cosy friendly one that let you scoop. Obviously, you know, the cosy friendly one that let you scoop but doesn't give you as much boost. But the neutron boost would be higher but at more cost. But can you imagine? I mean, I spent six months travelling around the galaxy. Oh, I spent six months travelling around the galaxy. Right, but I guess, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is that, um, that yeah, can you imagine if... Every time you wanted a neutron scoop, it was like scooping a white dwarf. Can you imagine that? That being the difficulty level of your exploration journey. I just would not switch it on. It would just be, nope, not that, nope. That they're so pretty to sit in the neutrons and you wibble back and forth. And the ones that go, nini, 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 they're often not that bad to sit in either, actually. They don't, they don't kick you around even as much. But yeah, that could be a challenge. Maybe I'll think of that. <laughs> a challenge for someone else, not me. You must travel around the galaxy using the uh, the white dwarf <laughs> boost corridor. <laughs> I imagine. Anyway, uh, that looks like that's done. Oh, thank you for uh, looking at me drawing it and going on at you. <laughs> You're very patient. Thanks. Bye.